What's up, everybody? We are here with uh, episode three of Run the Mindset, and we got one of my favorite players of all time already, Punk the God. Hey, you doing, Dustin? Thank I'm, you for having me. I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Um, so obviously, you have done many interviews, mm -hmm. but I want to ask like kind of random questions. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so let me see. What the first question is? Uh, you know, we'll start easy. Uh, who is your favorite fighting game player for you? Ah. Uh. Besides yourself. I'm definitely not my favorite. <laughs> <for myself. laughs> my favorite fighting game player ever. It probably, I think, Kazunoko. Kazunoko. Yeah. That's an interesting choice. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Kazunoko. I, I, I think he's very good at so many different games. And okay. it's very cool to see someone be able to win world tours or qualify. Yeah. Where world tours are just top eight at Evo in so many different games. Wow. I feel like, for me, like he's always like the person to look at when you want to start a game early and look at how the meta's played yeah yeah he usually find the cheap stuff cheap that, stuff yeah. that's pretty brain dead yeah. <laughs> so it's always fun to watch kazunoko i feel like when he's playing a new fighting game isn't he a jamie player now though no i don't know who he plays right now but he'd be playing a lot jamie yeah he do ranked he always yeah. played jamie but in tournaments he always used cammy cammy that's true he almost yeah i think he got top eight at the cpt yeah Japan, the last right? one yeah i think he got fourth okay right? yeah so that's your favorite fighting game player. Who's the worst fighting game player? <laughs> the worst? <laughs> what, what does that mean? You know, somebody you're like, damn, I hate watching this guy play. <laughs> like, I don't want him on my screen. Uh Oh, I, there, there's players that I, I just hate watching play. Like, they're not necessarily bad, but, like, when you watch them play, you just don't really like it. Yeah. Um, I would probably say Nemo. Really? Yeah, I don't really like watching Mo play. Is he honestly. like too too landmine-ish? Yeah, he he crazy. Like he be doing a lot of real dumb stuff that don't really make sense. But it works for him very well because mm -hmm. I don't know how he he mentally stacks so much stuff on people that they get scared of everything he does. Yeah. Even if you know it's coming, it's very hard to stop. But I hate watching him play. Like I like watching. His Urian and five because he had just had the setups, yeah. but in general, I hate watching him play all fighting games. Yeah. He plays even Marvel so Three. Marvel Three is a little different though, because like the crazy stuff is fun. Yeah. So he's a is fun to watch, but when he played Rolento, oh Rolento I didn't was like mad scrubby yeah, actually. <laughs> I was not a fan. <laughs> okay, that's actually an interesting one. I thought you were gonna say like someone from like. America that just like hella scrubby or something. I don't know. There's just a lot of people I feel like I was surprised about Nemo. So when you think about footsies and neutral, like are people just bad at it? Um, I feel like they are very <laughs> yeah. most people are pretty bad at just playing neutral or like just ninety percent of people. Yeah, I would say so. Even a lot of Japanese players, you know, even the people would say they're not a lot of them are they're just very patient and they yeah. don't do much, but if you whiff a button in front of them a lot of time they'll just let it rock. They won't even do anything. Mm. And they also don't check a lot of things, so I feel like that's a part of neutral and playing footsie, so okay. If they're not really doing that. They're just patient. I feel like patience and playing neutral is very different things yeah. that a lot of people don't really. I feel like a lot of people, especially in America right now, a lot of people play very patient, but they don't really do anything. So it's like they're trying to kind of play neutral, but they don't really know what they're doing. Exactly. They, don't, they don't know what to press. Yeah, they're just very, they just like, okay, so if you're patient, then you, you look good at playing the game, right? Okay. But I don't think that's the case. You can kind of tell the difference between the two. Do you think you are the best video game player of all time yeah 100 percent. like Why? video games overall, video games overall. Yeah, like no, if you had like no, a there's like no a one marathon better. yeah there's no like you know like better. the at&t annihilator cup you would win that 100 percent. 100 percent. yeah even the shooters i'm amazing at shooting games i know you're very good at nba uh 2k yeah I see you be, you be streaming every that. game smite you could put a mobile in front of me a shooter yeah fighting game i'm gonna i could play it all and if I don't know how to play it, I can learn it in like 10 minutes. What about like speed runs or platformers? I can play platformers. I used to play a lot of platformers growing up. So if you play Jump King, you'll beat it in one stream? 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, I've seen people play that game. It looks, it looks pretty random. Okay. <laughs> so. All, right. All right. Chat, you guys make sure. Make just type in y'all. I want to see you play Jump King. Get a sub gold done. We'll see. We'll see the pain and pressure bro, for I'll, sure. I'll finish it though one day. <laughs> one day. One day for sure. Bro, that game is tilting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in my opinion, um, 
I personally think you're the best fighting game player in this era, mm. right? So do you think like people disagree with that because of like there's players like like Sonic Fox or Meta RD? Mm. But that's what I think. I think you're you're personally the best. But how, how, where do you think you rank yourself? Um, I think overall, yeah. like as a fighting game player, as a fighting game, not not with results, but just like with like I guess the knowledge mm. and skill and everything. Yeah, I think overall, I would put myself as one of the best. Like yeah. I don't know if I'm very best because I feel like you do have like Mena who shows he's very good. Yeah, Sonic Fox, of course. You have there's just so many people nowadays. I feel like that's really good at a lot of fighting games, and yeah. they just show how good they are. But I feel like in general, when it comes to just learning a game and just playing it and being really good very fast i would say i'm better than everyone else at doing that yeah um i feel like only you really i feel like pick up a game as fast as me is and it's and you can get in actually win and it's very hard to beat you at the start but i feel like everyone else they they kind of pick up games very slow in america and then it takes a very long time for them to actually understand they got to grind and research a lot of stuff yeah but I feel like when I play a game, I could just kind of get it and be really good at yeah. it very fast. It's kind of like the world because I, a lot of people are pretty bad at start. Because mm. like Daigo said, he's like, yeah, I'm pretty bad at the start. It takes yeah. me like a year to get to understand how to play. But yeah, I think when you play any new fighting game, it's like you instantly click on it. Mm. Right? So that's why I'm just like... Yeah, I don't think anyone can mess with Punk. If there was like a million dollar like week one tournament for any <laughs> fighting game, like you would probably win all the million dollar week one tournaments. I hope that Project L can give you us think that. So? Low key, they might. They might give Have us you played that Project week L? one. I played it like for ten minutes at Evo. That's about it. You like it? It's pretty fun. Like that, yeah. I feel like it moves very, very good. It mm-hmm. feels like you're in control of everything you're doing on the screen. I didn't know any combos or anything, yeah. so I just matched and I moved around. But I feel like the movement was very fluid. It felt very good. Okay, you listen to a lot of music on your stream. You go to concerts. Could you throw me like a bar? Did I put you on the spot? <laughs> what would I say though? I don't know. Like, do I steal it from someone else? You can- you could make up something. Let's see. Your name was Woodley. Woodley. What rhymes with Woodley? I'm bad. I'm Asian, so I, I don't. Got, I don't got that skills. I know once you go wrong, you can't go wrong. That's like my <laughs> thing. <laughs> Woodley. I don't know what rhymes with that. Honestly, there was a word. I don't know. I guess you could make up a word. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. I don't think it works that way, though. You can't make up a bar and make up words. It gotta make a little sense. See, I listen to music. I don't. I can't rap or anything though. I'm horrible at that kind of thing. You like K-pop though, right now, recently, or you got into like not into it, but more like, oh, I like this song. Yeah, there's some songs I hear that I like a lot. Um, I think they're very cool. I think it's just very like the mood is very uplifting. So it's just very positive. Yeah, it's very good. It just sounds good, and the dances are very cool in the videos. Yeah. <laughs> Would you go to a K-pop concert with me? Maybe. I think so. I, I think not, I have not gone to yes it, yet. It depends on like the where is that? Let's say Vegas or yeah, let's say Vegas or California. I go. I'd come to Vegas or California for a K-pop concert. Oh uh, yeah, that'd, that'd okay. be pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, it could be anything or something you have to mess with. Um. Well, I gotta at least know the, the know group. the song, yeah, know the group. the group, just the group at least, so I can intro you. Mm. No, I gotta know them already. Like I, I could tell you a few. I know Twice. Okay, yeah, I've been uh, with Twice. I know um, Red Velvet. Okay, Red Velvet. Um, who's the ones that sing Super Shy? Super Shy. Oh, that's New Jeans. New Jeans. Yeah, New Jeans is the goat. Low key. Low key. Yeah, low key. Wow, really? New Jeans. Yeah, they very. They're cool. they're the very like hip hop. Like their songs will play on the hip hop club for sure. Yeah. It's like the, their songs are like the, the K-pop version of Baby Shark, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It just up. It's just like, what's your ETA? What's your ETA? like? It's just like literally like that. But you know, Twice is actually playing in Vegas next month. But we'll oh. be at Red Bull Kumite. Oh, okay. So we can't even go. I would have bought tickets for you though. <laughs> so, all right. Here's a tough one. I think I already know your answer, but I just want it on record. <laughs> Is Street Fighter Five or Street Fighter Six a better fighting game, and why? Uh, honestly, I don't really 
know which one is better. I think Street Fighter Six has a better launch. Yeah. And is better but and for, more but fun. For, but for you, what do you think is more fun? Um, more fun is definitely Street Fighter Six. Okay. Nice. But I think Street Fighter Five is a better game for sure. Mm. I think you can control stuff a lot easier. V triggers is not as bad as it really seems when you come to Street Fighter Six. And yeah. you just a lot of characters start off with the V trigger. They oh, just yeah. they just start drive rushing at the start. They got drop impact, EX bars already, and then super meter builds so fast that you already get a super with like one combo. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you just already got V trigger when you start off six. But five, you at least had to build it up, and then you know there's stuff to deal with. You got V reversal that's actually pretty good. Yeah, the drive reversal sucks in Street Fighter Six. Yeah, so. There's ways to deal with stuff in Street Fighter Five, and there's not really many ways to deal with things in Six. Okay, so are you saying more of like because Street Fighter Five is a better game at the end versus mm. Street Fighter Six la- like launch? What about Street Fighter Five launch? Street Fighter Five launch was Ooh. horrible. Was it better than Street Fighter Six as an like no. overall game? No, no way. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. That Chung Lee. <laughs> no way. The A frames a lag. A frame can't react. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know you you know you wear a lot of nice stuff i like the kiff and everything <laughs> you're rich though right a rich yeah i'm not rich but well well off yeah i'm well off like well i don't off. have to worry about yeah. anything i know i could do whatever i want or yeah. buy you, anything i want yeah you could just literally like oh if i need to make money i'll enter an online terminal or stream and yeah you're good type of thing yeah same with you right yeah i mean yeah <laughs> not gonna lie <laughs> but but the thing is Thing is, I got I got like, um, you know, because I have Harper. That's like forty thousand down. The, you know, I got spend. That's forty thousand. I got to put up to the side for her, you. Feel me? So I when you, you. Wait, so when you have twins, uh, you know, because I think you. I think if you if you if you pop, it's gonna pop out twins or something. That's reason. crazy. I why had a dream. You, why would you give me that? I, I had a dream that you had twins. That's crazy. Would you be cool with that? I mean, one boy, one girl. That's the god like. Nah, two. I would want two boys. Though. Two boys. Yeah. You want them to play? Yeah, I want them like to fight each other and stuff. I want to see like that. Like real life? Yeah. Like fist fight? Yeah. Why fun. would you want to see that? It's fun. Like two brothers grow up and they just like, I don't know. I just grew up and I used to fight with my brother. So I feel uh, like I like, want to like, see like how like it looks wrestling and yeah. everything. I'll break it up if they get too, you too know. Too violent? Yeah, they just start really beating each other. But I'll probably get them boxing gloves so they can just, you know, have fun and just fight each other for a little bit. Would you want them to box or would you want them to wrestle each other? Uh, I'd rather wrestle. I think wrestling is is cool. Yeah. I love wrestling. So, have, have you put anybody in a sharpshooter before? Nah, I always wanted to. It, it look. I've been put in one. It hurts. It, yeah, my brother. It really hurts. In one. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts bad. But the walls of Jericho is the worst. I mean, they're bending your body. Yeah, that, in half. that really really hurts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, we had a great time in New Orleans at WrestleMania. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. I love that play. I want to go back. I wanted to go to the Tekken Finals, but. It was just not a good time. I think mm. I just came back from Japan during that time. Is there a, a player that you're like, if you see at a tournament and you're just like, I don't want to ever run into you? For me, it's like Tokido. Tokido's like just, I'm mm. I'm his b- like for reals. <laughs> um, for me, it would probably be... Uh, I'm trying to think. I would say probably. That's a lot of players. There's a lot of players. You gotta really think. But you be cooking a lot. Of, like you cook all the JPs. I feel like no JP can give you give you any mm. run. Like you killed all the JPs at LCQ. Oh yeah. Like that was free. <laughs> um. Damn, it's hard. I mean, I feel like it would be Mena right now. Like if Blanca. you had to, yeah, if we had to choose a player right now, I wouldn't. I just don't. I want to see him lose anytime we're in a bracket together. I always pray that he loses to someone else. Dude, just play DJ or Chun Li against him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chun Li, I, re- I feel like Chun loses to Blanca though, but they play the matchup really well. Or it's because there's not enough Chun Li's to that level. That yeah, we have, that also. That Mena has practice against. Yeah, there's. I don't think we have any in America that's like a Lashar or Moke Goichi. Yeah. Those guys are crazy. They're yeah. crazy with Chun. Bro, it's because like, I didn't even think like that level two was that useful mm. like that. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. they use that to just All get the, the corner carry. Don't matter if it's like off a of perfect parry or yep. whatever. They don't care about the damage. Yeah, they just want the corner carry and they build the second one in the round again. Damn, yeah, Chun Li. I think Chun Li might be a good pick because it's like one of those characters that 
It's like Blanca. Like, there's not enough, like, Blanca players you can really train with. Yeah, no. Right? Do you know how to cook? Um, I'm pretty decent. Um, especially if you give me a like grill and a burgers. I don't Anyone know that's no, no, no. But my burgers are crazy, Justin. It's not. It's even, crazy. What it's makes crazy. it crazy? You got. You got. What's your tech? Well, it's just I'm very good. Like um, I don't have secret tech, but like the seasoning and just how well I cook it with the cheese in. I put some bacon, maple bacon. Maple bacon. It gotta okay. be maple bacon. Okay. It, my burgers is crazy. You know Justin. what it is? Maybe it's because your reaction time is so good, so you got the optimal time to flip that thing. <laughs> Right, you know where the ju- the juices. You're like, oh, I this is where the juices stay. We can't let the juices go inside, and then you just flip it, huh? Is yeah, that what I'm, it is? I'm very good at the burgers, and I could cook a good salmon, but I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm the best chef though. Those two things I'm very good at, and everything else, uh, I'm probably not that good. We should have a cook off. Me and you? Yeah. You can't cook better. Stop Why not? Wasting. No way. You, you can't cook, bro. I, I when during the pandemic, I had a cooking phase. I did too, actually. Yeah. During the pandemic, yeah, I used to cook. Me and nephew, we used yeah. to cook. I wasn't flipping burgers though. I was like <laughs> doing like egg omelet rice and stuff oh, like that. Oh, I don't have that in my package, bro. YouTube, YouTube got all the <laughs> recipes. <laughs> yeah, that's how I usually cook. I just go on YouTube where I open up like a page, like a Gordon Ramsay yeah. page, and he just tell you who the perfect time to cook it. I'm just like, I right, follow this perfectly. It can't really be bad. I actually think I'll beat you in the cook-off, though. No way. Yeah. I don't think so. You, <laughs> you remember when we were in Hong Kong, and you wanted to, to dye your hair, mm. and we went to that Chinese hair salon? You remember? What, what that, remember how confused is that Chinese lady? Bruh, uh, didn't she go on, like, YouTube? to figure out how to do like a, a black person's hair yeah yeah <laughs> she was scared <laughs> she like so she literally looked at me and talked to me in chinese says what do i do with this because it's like she probably you probably were the first only black man that has ever walked into her shop and you're like asking for a haircut dye my hair and then she's just like what am i supposed to do <laughs> so the fact that she went on youtube to like like, like figure out how to do it i mean it, i think it came out pretty good Yeah, it was actually pretty good even the haircut was actually pretty good all I, right she was i was very surprised i was scared what what made you want to like do it just yolo yeah i mean i always wanted to dye my hair and i feel like you why know, in asia one, i don't know it's just random like <laughs> it's just why not just go for it you're in hong kong like you don't expect to be here ever so i don't even know how we found that place like yeah, we just walked and you I just think so i think we walked and you just like you know what today i feel like dying my it hair. was the day <laughs> that <laughs> was it <laughs> you know who else actually did that um amakashi yeah they, yeah we he were, got this here like we were in or Vietnam, something, right gold gold like like dennis robin yeah. from, from <laughs> demolition man or something wesley snipes right and then he literally died it there and i was like what? What? Do, why do people do that? I don't. I never understood that. You die your hair, though. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like I feel like nine out of ten Asian people dye their hair. <laughs> I don't know. But these days, a lot of black people now yeah, dye I their hair. Yeah, so. that's it's like, very popular. Yeah, like go to tips. Yeah, and especially dreads. Some of them get like some mm-hmm. dreads one color, and then the other ones just stay black. So I think it's very common now for black people to dye their hair. I always want to get braids, but I don't think I can pull it off because my hair is too thin. Mm-hmm. Like it's not thick enough. Yeah, maybe not. I, I just can't see you with braids, but you can always get the fake braids, like, you know, have them put the weave in. Attach? Yeah, you could get the attachments. I feel like a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see yourself uh, 10 years from now? Uh, 10 years, I'll be 35. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like I just want to have some involvement with fighting games. I don't really okay. want to be playing anymore. Okay. I feel like in 10 years, maybe I could have a million dollars. Um, that's at least a goal and I can have a house already. So I just want to be some involvement. I'll still be streaming, yeah, playing whatever new streaming, fighting yeah. game, Street Fighter 8, whatever's out <laughs> at that yeah. time I'll be playing. Um, but I hope that I could be doing commentary or like helping run an event, you know, something like that to just helping the players. I don't want to be a player anymore at that time. I want to just be trying to help them grow the community and mm-hmm. hopefully it's already big by then. Yeah. And I've helped already over the years. <laughs> So that's pretty much my plan in ten years. I mean, you could win a million dollars next year. Yeah, it's possible, but there's the prize pools in general. Like, if there's another gamers eight, uh, Capcom Cup already mm. announced a million. Boom, easy, right? Oh yeah, that's a few chances next few year. Few chances, right? So who knows? But yeah, I mean, we could win the tournament together. 
we could just run our own tournament. Yeah, we can. You know, I just want to host something offline. That's, yeah, that's my what I'm goal. Saying. Yeah, yeah I want to that. host something offline and put some money in it so players can come and probably not have a lot of games. Like, I don't want Guilty Gear at my tournament. No way. Just because you don't like Guilty Gear. Yeah, nah, I'm not watching no Guilty Gear players. But you at love my Strive. Tournament. Nah. Nah. You play Strive. Yeah, I did. When it was. You play a lot of people in Strive. Yeah, you beat when, a lot of people, too. When it was not as scrubby as it was now. It's, it's been scrubby. It's been scrubby it's from the start, changed. but it's gotten even more scrubbier. Every patch they make it worse and worse and worse. And I'm like, bro, how do y'all still playing this? But isn't that like every fighting game now? They like. They have some type of scrubby mechanic in there now. Yeah, but Strive is crazy. Like, you die in two hits. Yeah. You don't really get many chances to make any mistake at all in Strive. Mm -hmm. One mistake, you kind of, the round is over. That is true. It's hit the wall. You do a super meter building yeah. is insane and everything like that. Why do you talk to people? Um, Or is it because they trigger you? Yeah, usually, like, I have very rare times that I ever start talking trash to people first. It's mm -hmm. just that... I just take it to an extreme amount, I guess. <laughs> uh, but it's just the way I grew up with my brothers. We yeah. always would play fighting games all the time and yeah. just talk trash to each other. And then we would just start fighting sometimes from yeah. playing. So for me, they just and that's just how I grew up. So I just don't let anyone talk trash to me. At least if I find if I s feel like you you got like a little bit of a name and i just feel like why not just embarrass this person for fun you know i'm not gonna lie like if i see some stuff and i'm like i don't really like this person too much or like yeah. you know we're not really friends at all and i'm just bored at home and i'm like i want to entertain myself today <laughs> and i want to see what he gonna say back to me so i'll just go and i'll respond to him and be like uh oh, you know whatever it is and i'll just you know start it and just i'll wait like i really just sit home yeah. and i refresh the thing on my phone and i just wait for the comment wait for the i wait for the comment so i can reply back instantly he's just waiting i was just looking for the notification <laughs> turn on the notifications everything so when people take a long time to respond back it, it gets me salty like you take 20 minutes i'm like bro you got me scrolling for mad long now like come on bro you gotta respond back in a timely manner at least what's the best then what which which player was the best beef you had with um the best beef there's a few. There was like, there was Hotashi, uh, Flash Metroid. Who else? Those two, those two stood yeah. out for I, me a lot. I would probably. There's Mike the Ike with the exhibition yeah. match, right? I would probably say, probably Hotashi. I felt like that one was pretty funny. That one was pretty it was, funny. It was a good one. Or maybe Acoustics. Acoustics got me tight, oh, actually. Oh, that one was amazing. Yeah, Acoustics <laughs> actually had me really salty. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I was I was really salty. I, I would say probably Koopsticks. Like oh, I feel like he he was talking trash back, you know, yeah, and yeah. then he beat me the first time, so I was very upset. Even though I just started playing the game, I knew he was trash. So, so there's no way I should have lost to him then. So so when so when he beat you the first time and before you got got the run back and made the crazy pop off on, on your stream and everything like that, when did you did you watch his video at the steakhouse? Huh? So, because he beat you the first time and, yeah. and then won the money match. Oh, yeah. And then he went to the steakhouse. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. I was confused. Yeah, I did see that. That's did, why. Did you? Were you laughing or were you pissed at that moment? No, nah, I was laughing at it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, I was laughing. You you, you can't do anything but laugh. But, I, you know, when I was laughing, I was thinking, like, I, he won, like, 250 from me, and he took him to a cheap steakhouse. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You can't be doing that. You're going to be going to Outback after you That's won 250. Outback, come on. <laughs> Them steaks like fifteen dollars, bro. <laughs> you got two fifty. You gonna take your homies there? Come on, bro. You gotta treat your homies better with with bro, your with the money that you went for free. They probably only got sliders. <laughs> 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 when was the first time you started teabagging? Um, I think it was at NCR. I want to say it was NCR. NCR twenty seventeen. I think I teabagged. You teabag the world. Momochi first. It might have been Momochi. I don't remember. It might have been Momochi or Fudo. One of those two, I think yeah. it was first. It might have been Fudo, actually. Yeah, it might have. Because you, you just own Fudo. Yeah, Fudo is. Yeah, he's, 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 he he's, was he, free for me. He's, he's kind of your son. Yeah. Like, for reals. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of your son for reals. <laughs> but yeah, you, you like. 
were that was kind of like what you were like known for like it's in a tea bag mm. but you know that was just your your down button just kind of not working it was just stuck like all yeah. the time when i got stuns or when winning convincingly my down button would just go crazy and i would just try to get it unstuck and sometimes it wouldn't until the match ended so yeah. people just don't really know that though i feel like you don't even tea bag that much anymore uh no not really uh not really. i feel like it's it, like i don't really feel the need to anymore um i don't really know why i did it before i just thought it was funny yeah you're we very young then yeah. and i was just starting at like 18 so would you have tea bag Daigo? Fun. um i'm not sure men did it he, they, got, he, got he was hated for he a, got long a lot time. of flack probably not because i knew i know what would have came behind <laughs> tea bag and Daigo. like i'm sh i don't know if men knew or not but Every time I played Daigo, I knew that you couldn't teabag that guy. Like yeah. the other people, I'm like Momochi. Yeah, he kind of people love him, but not really. Yeah, you know, Americans don't really love Momochi that much. Like he's not as known as like Daigo. Yeah. Daigo is really just everyone loves him and just believes he's the greatest fighting game player ever. Okay, <laughs> so you can't teabag Daigo. You have a a YouTube channel with a uh, hundred k mm. right subscribers. Good you know what oh, I mean? thank you. You got the two hundred or three hundred, right? You got yeah. three hundred now. That's well, crazy. Yeah. Nice. Why'd you stop uploading? <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, after like Panda disbanded, yeah. um, it's like just YouTube for me. It was something I never really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but now I find it if I don't really want to make the video now, then I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Uh, now I upload. I try to upload stuff, but only when I really feel like I can, like it's a video I want to do yeah. and not just like a tournament vibe every single week. You know, yeah. I feel like it gets boring for people because it's not many new characters or new things to do in the tournament all the time. Mm -hmm. And there's not a new lot of new things that happen in fighting games really since there's no real pro tour and stuff. So you can't really watch too many things and upload. So when something big like a Capcom Cup happen or Red Bull Kumite, you know, you get content to watch and upload that'll be good for youtube yeah so i like to do that or now i'm trying to just make you more youtube oriented videos where i don't do it on my stream at all and yeah, i just all like 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 uh separate yeah and i just record like i did uh like things i want changed in street fighter 5 yeah. or yeah, 6 i mean nice. recently yeah. and so i just want to do kind of more videos like that just talking and not really doing much playing mm -hmm. or anything so that's pretty much why I just stopped uploading. You know, I just got burnt out and I just didn't really yeah, it is care a... about YouTube, I feel like, as much. You know, I just, I want to keep doing it because I feel like, you know, Panda helped me grow a great audience and a lot of subscribers on YouTube. So I don't want to let it die completely. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I kind of want to make it like if the, when the video come up, if you want to watch then it'll be a cool video to watch, you know, not just something boring that you're going to see. The Maybe same like once week. a week or something right yeah once at week. least like, one. You, like you did the ed video yeah right it kind of sucks huh yeah i think ed is not very good like it's his he just got a decent mid-range yeah that's but it. his zoning suck and when he faced other fireball characters he really he, just can't f compete in the fireball war you you would think the kill rush move will go under the fireball yeah you would but right? like dudley or even dj has that something like yeah. that that goes under but just doesn't they said nah the ed is, you just want to be trashed in this game <laughs> he's gonna but be trash it's the first it's this patch so he might get buffed in the new the real patch like that's the gonna June come patch yeah, or whatever right? whatever it is so yeah. he might actually become a good character i'm just upset they took the one two three out like that was his his persona that was Bob. his meme yeah why would you take like at least if it's not the same just the blitz move they mm -hmm. could have made him say one two three yeah since he does the three punches but they don't even have the saying in the game i feel like that's an l for capcom yeah so this is the final question all right um a lot of people always talk about you know you're one of the best and then for some reason you just always like don't clutch it out mm -hmm. right that's what people say they say there's something wrong but I have my own theory about it. Um, what do you think when people say stuff like that? Um, you know, it's a bit annoying sometimes because yeah. I see it all the time. And then sometimes I do start to think, I'm like, what is actually wrong? Like, why is it yeah. that when I get to grand finals, I just lose? Um, you know, I actually, when I just lost the problem X, like I realized something. Like, I don't really get nervous. Like, I wasn't nervous or anything when I played them, but for some reason my i was playing and i feel like my mind when i'm in grand finals i get sidetracked and i start mm -hmm. thinking about a lot of things you start thinking about the million dollars you're like i'm gonna be yeah, in group so, h yeah <laughs> just uh, i just started thinking like overthinking mad stuff and i was like 
I caught myself when like the middle of the set it was like already maybe game four or five yeah. and I was like what's happening like why what's going on why I'm thinking about so much stuff and not just focusing on just playing the match yeah so I feel like that that could be the reason why I actually don't win a lot anymore but mm. you know I don't really know exactly but I don't feel like I get nervous I just maybe get inside my own head too much when I'm about to actually win a big tournament you want to hear my theory yeah let me hear all right I think this 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 might change it all right so probably they interview problem X on like how like how did you win hmm. and the way he explained it it actually made perfect sense because in terms of let's say let's say from a score to zero to hundred your footsies and neutrals is a hundred so when people play you let's say casuals or in like the earlier sets of the tournament they're trying to beat you as a fighting game player so because they're trying to be used fighting gameplay you smoke them you whiff punish them you check their drive rushes you make them feel like they can't do a, any single mm. damn thing right so now in their head how am i supposed to win so they gotta be more aggressive more yolo more unpredictable so now i think that's why they start changing up on you but you don't like playing that yolo random uncertainty mm. you just want to play with like the natural skill that you have because it's just so good so because that's why like if you think like let's say you wake up dps yeah they're not the best no they're not they're not, they're not the best. <laughs> every time i do it they're in not my the head, best, i see? always think like <laughs> they're, not they're the probably best. gonna block this one but i'm gonna just let it rip anyway yeah they're not the best right <laughs> so i i i that's that's what i think i think you sometimes like if you need to like let's say turn it up by being a little random you just don't have the random factor because mm. you're not random yeah you're, you're in my opinion you're like the, you're you have the best footsies you have the best neutral the best whiff punishes so when people fight you they gauge that okay i can't mess with punk in these fields mm. so i need to play this way yeah i think that that could make a lot of sense right. um follow max definitely in the grand final said he turned it up like he's wearing him yeah he turned it up he started doing a lot of perfect, perfect parry, parries but everything he did was just the correct guess yeah every time he did the parry it hit when he did the jump back ball it hit every time the ex up ball it hit me every time yeah and then his shimmy and throw game was just like perfect i yeah. feel like he shimmied me every time it was correct and when he threw it was the correct time to throw every time yeah because when you were playing what you start you realize that he was playing kind of crazy uh but then because you don't like to play kind of random, you tr you try the perfect parry. But the thing is, you don't know when the perfect parry because you don't <laughs> like to rely on perfect parry because it's kind of random. Yeah, uh, I've been trying to practice it more and more, but it's very hard. Like, yeah. I just don't have it in me, like, to keep playing that way. I just, I don't know why my brain programmed to play like a Street Fighter 5 and 4 yeah. where you can't do those. Those things just don't exist but it's just hard to adapt for me to just start doing that play style which is very good is as annoying as it is and i hate it it's very good for this game and you should do it even though there's a little risk of getting thrown but it's just not that huge yeah. you know you don't really need to be scared of getting thrown as much as you are as being able to side switch someone or just get a free combo to start pressure up yeah yeah because i had uh a similar issue and i realized after playing playing against you like during the street fire five i was like I, clearly i cannot win this karen versus karen mirror match because you're gonna whiff punish me footsie me so my strategy moving forward was like i need to catch him like slipping <laughs> right and i think that's what a lot of people are doing so yeah that's just my theory about it because i thought because i always want you to win i every i was literally punk cheering squad during the whole lcq bro i was so mad you don't understand you don't understand how mad i was i was literally telling my chat it was like there's no way he loses the problem because he just smoked them 3-0 it was free it wasn't even like close none of the games yeah they were bad they were bad and i'm like bro he just started going random and the chat's like yeah and i'm like what do you mean yeah like so i was just getting mad because <laughs> i want to see like you know street fighter at its purest form win but mm. the problem is it's so hard to do in like today's like yeah. infrastructure everyone wants to play rps yeah. these days you know but it was very fun though the was lcq fun. was fun um i'm happy i got the wii tokido that was like that was godlike it was yeah. a godlike match it was very close so um i feel like 
all year Tokido played so bad, and it's something that when he plays me, he turns it up. Right? Yeah, he he got all the combos all of a sudden. Like all year, he been doing the worst combos I've ever seen a Ken player do. Hundred percent. And then I play him, <laughs> and I'm like, why you turn into Angry Bird all of a sudden, bro? You got all the combos, you don't drop anything. And the only thing now is I feel like Tokido can't really anti or with hitbox, so you can abuse him with yeah, jump ins a lot. Yeah, that's he he did take a lot of jump ins. Yeah, and even Daigo when I played him, he anti aired very well. Like I was surprised, but he do it so fast. The three hits of DP don't even hit, but I think that's just a hitbox shortcut it's a hit that they thing. use. I mean, Universe Daigo was good, but you kinda made it that close. You're the reason why it was two one. Yeah, I was Bro, when I missed the first DP punish, I was so scared every time he did DP that I started messing up more of them. I was like, bro, what happened? Oh, it's because was, I was burnt out, though. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that if you burnt out, you can't get the neutral jump. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. that just made, messed me up. I was, I actually practiced that in the morning when I woke up before yeah. I went to the venue. I practiced punish Ken DP multiple ways. <laughs> so when it didn't work, I was just like, bro, what's going on? Like, there's no way I messed this up. You know, it's all good, bro. I think you're going to win a million dollars next year. <laughs> I think you're going to win all the tournaments next year. As long as you Dustin, practice that. You qualify next year for in Vancouver, right? You're not going to give it up again? Oh, I did. I did. I, I DQ'd myself. Yeah, you could have probably been a millionaire this year. Nah. Mike, Mike, Mike X had a. He was a, cooking, though. Yeah, he was. He had a decent group. Like, if you were in a group, you can definitely make it out and, and, and make some money for sure. Nah, I'd rather stay home and stream. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a tough pool because he got you couldn't. And I was in that pool. Yeah, yeah, that was tough. I played NL. Me and NL in Korea when I was in Korea mm. went back and forth. Yeah, I feel like like our type of play style just naturally give NL a bit of problems. Got you would have smoked me though. I don't know. There was she. I don't know how to deal with Yasar. I probably would if I was. I probably ask tech. JB. I probably would ask JB. Hey JB, can you? There's just... no real way to deal with it. You just don't tech. Like when I play JB now, I just don't. I don't tech the grab ever. If he want to grab mm, me the three times, you got to let him take it. Because if he shimmy you, that's going to do that like 60. 60 yeah, yeah, it's like 60% going one bar. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you just really got to take the crap every time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Other than that, appreciate you giving me your time. Where can the, the people find you? Or where do you want people to find you? Uh, you can find me at Punk the God, uh, D-A, not T-H-E. And on all social medias, Twitch, YouTube, whatever it is, you can find me there. Um yeah, uh, thank you for having me, and no I had problem, a good time. This is my goat over here, okay? <laughs> Don't listen to Rob TV mashing on the word goat. This is my goat. Other than that, see you in the next one.